Hey guys, I'm at the Goodwill and this place is like so crowded. Like, I don't even, if y'all can see, like it's all the way down. I had to literally park at the front of the building and I have been getting ready since like early this morning. I haven't got out because I ended up talking to my daughter and then her friend and yeah, it's like three o'clock. So I'm going to this Goodwill then I'm going to the next one. So let's see what we can find. So look y'all, like the line is like so long. Hey guys, so I'm here with part one of my Goodwill haul. So I went to this one Goodwill haul and um, anyways, so I hit the freaking jackpot. Hold on, my friends messaged me. So, okay, so do y'all remember last week how I told you like um, this set of books that I was going to get, but there was only one there. And it's kind of like a Neander Neanderthal type thing, like, um, like back in the day. And anyway, so I found the freaking jackpot on these books. Like, I'm super excited. Like, OMG, like, y'all don't even know. Like, I'm so excited. So I found, so I used to have the whole collection. And then when I got divorced, like my second divorce, I lost all my books. Like I just let them go. So like, I'm so glad to have this set of books back in my collection because that's like one of the like top books that I like and I loved reading them and I didn't get to read all of them. I had like one or two books left. So let me show you what I got. And isn't this beautiful? I have my unicorn water in here and my ice is almost gone and I'm sad. Okay, so let me show y'all what I got. First things first, I did get some of the Twilight books because I have the newest one in like Edward's perspective. And I also had all the Twilight books and then I got divorced, lost them all, but I got this one. The paperbacks are 99 cents. The hardbacks are 2 dollars So, 99 cents. So, Twilight. I love Twilight. And I love me some Edwards. He's super amazing and super sexy. Um, and then I also got... I think this one's... Oh, no. Is it... Some of the pages are daggum. Also got Eclipse. Okay, so, oh, I got a Patsy Klein. Now, so I got Naomi and Winona Judd, um, like one of their biographies, um, Love Can Build a Bridge, last week. This week, I got Patsy Klein, boo. This one's The Life and Times of Patsy Klein, and it's Margaret Jones, forward by Loretta Lynn. So, I'm like, I need this. I love all of the OG, like, country singers and stuff. So, as I was looking at this, I noticed, y'all. So, this was Sandy Jones. Um, but as I was going through this, look what I found. This is, like, retro. And even though it was someone's, like, someone else's, I think this is cool. It's one of her tickets. Always Patsy Klein concert in the... R-Y-M-A-N Auditorium Admission $17.32 And this was back in 10-22-94 Um So That's kind of cool That's a legit freaking ticket For the Patsy Klein concert Um So I got this I love all of the older OG like country singers And all that stuff so I thought that was quite amazing Um Also got what I got my watch is going off. The Trusting God Day by Day, 365 Daily Devotions by Joyce Myers. Um, however, <coughs> it's a bit chewed right here. When I read these books, I'm going to start giving them away to people that I think that would like enjoy them or whatever. So it's not a big deal. But when I opened it up, as I was looking at this stuff, look, confidential. And I didn't open this up, so I was like, I need to get this. Maybe it's a sign. I don't know what this is, but I thought that was kind of interesting. But it says con confidential, and it's got a smiley face. So let's see. You never know what you find at Goodwill, y'all. Um, 
P.S. If you have an issue with this author, I will accept that, but do return it. Putting it in God will or the such. P.S. If you have an issue with this author, I will accept that, but do return it. Putting it putting it in God's will or the such. I don't know. But that was that was in this book. So I have no clue. Do y'all see that? So if you have a problem with Joyce Myers, then I love Joyce Meyer. Um and then there's the bookmark and it says true happiness. <clears throat> happiness are those who reject the advice of evil men who do not follow the example of sinners or join those who have no use for God. Instead, they find joy in obeying the law of the Lord and, and they study it day and night. They are like trees that grow beside a stream that bear fruit at the right time and those leaves do not dry up. They succeed in everything they do. The evil men are not like this at all. They are like straw that the wind blows away. Sinners will be condemned by God and kept apart from God's own people. The righteous are guided and protected by the Lord, but the evil are on their way to doom. Interesting. And that is Psalms 1. And that's true. But this is like Oh my gosh, I opened this up on, on my mom's birthday, April the 17th. Whoops. I know y'all are like, she's crazy. Maybe a little bit, but I do like signs and stuff. Okay, so, so for the hit for my haul, y'all, for part one, let me show y'all what I got. Like these books, if y'all haven't read, read these books, when you go to Goodwill, look for these check these out look at this gray right through here y'all oh my heavens okay so the first one y'all oh my gosh i cannot wait to reread these i've read almost all of them but a couple so it's the valley of horses by Jean m yule the breathtaking saga of one magnificent woman who shaped the destiny of mankind. Um, but the introduction is like, here's an unforgettable odyssey into a world of awesome mysteries, into a distant past made vividly real, a novel that carries us back to the exotic primeval world we experience in the plan of Cave Bear. And, and, and to be, and to beautiful, Alia, the bold woman who captivates us with her fierce courage and questioning heart, cruelly cast out by the ancient clan that adopted her as a child. Alia now travels alone in a land of, of glacial cold and terrifying beasts. She is searching for others, a race as tall, blonde, um, and blue-eyed as she. But Alea finds only a hidden valley where a herd of hardly steep horses roams. Here she is granted a unique kinship with animals, enabling her to lean or to learn the secrets of fire and raw survival. But still, her need for human companionship and love remains unfulfilled. Then fate brings her a stranger, handsome John Delar, and Alia is torn between fear and hope and carried to an awakening of desire that would shape the future of mankind. Y'all, this series is simply amazing. And my sister-in-law, well, ex-sister-in-law, introduced me to these. And I can never thank her enough because these are simply amazing. And that was in there. But, so, so here are the, the books. So, we have The Clan of Cave Bear, The Valley of Horses, The Mammoth Hunters, the plain passage um so the first one is the clan of cave bear okay 
Let me see what I got here. Okay, so I have the first one here, the Clan of Cave Bear. So I actually got this one 50 cents because it's like tore up and I'm just gonna like glue it when I get home. So as you can see, y'all, there's people coming in here and they're totally seeing me. This was the first one. They also had a couple of hard books, not in this one. They only had this one, but I got that one. And then the second one, of course, that I just showed y'all is the Valley of the of Horses. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, y'all, I'm like stoked. Um, hang on. The Mammoth Hunters, which is this one. Y'all don't know how excited I am. I have waited so long to find these. I did not want to buy these brand new. Last week, I was going to get that one, which was still here today. And this week, I found them. So, the Mammoth Hunters. Okay. Uh-oh. The Plains of Passage. And then the Plains of Passage, which is this one. This one's hardback. And then this one here. <gasps> this is another one. So this one's the last one, the Land of Painted Caves. The only one that I need y'all is the Shelters of Stone. So I have this complete set, almost, until I find the shelters of stone. So like, y'all do not know how excited I am for this. Like, oh my goodness. So I have to find and make room for my books because I have like not enough bookshelf room for this. So I have to find a place. And I've got to get, like discard some of my current books. I'm gonna give to some friends that I think that need them. Like my Joyce Meyer book that I hate to part with them, but I have a friend that I think that would really could use those. But y'all, I'm like so excited. I know y'all probably like nerd bookworm, but like, no, I'm like super excited. And if y'all haven't read those, please do so. Please do so. Cause if you like stuff like that, like learning about like way back in the day and just like, cause it like this author like instills like all of those like old like survival type things. And like, she draws you into that kind of type thing, so. When I go to this other Goodwill, I gotta look for that one. What was it, the Shadow of Stone? And then I got this. This is, looks like that. And it's like a little journal for like your, um, this girl's just walking in here. It's the Healthy Life Diet and Exercise Journal by Dr. Ian Stern. Track your weight loss and fitness progress. So it just has like, little things about like eating healthy goes to set and then somebody's kind of like tore out a couple of pages before they i guess gave this to goodwill but it's like do your best resistant weight training cardio yoga i'll just start working out y'all i've not done that yet but I, I'm, I'm about to get some boldness and start going um because i think that would help me and i need that it's it's been so cold and i can't get out and walk i could but i don't because i don't get off work till like 4 45 uh but it also has like stuff that like you eat and all this stuff food journal breakfast mid-morning lunch mid-afternoon just to keep track and like you have the water that your mood energy cravings so i got one kind of like this up at five below for five bucks but this one was 99 cents and i just you know i just got that and then y'all so i got these shoes they had some uh, house shoes that I was gonna get, but they were $10, but they were brand new and they're normally like $25, but I didn't get those. These were five, but I just thought, these don't even have a name brand and I don't even know. I'm assuming this probably came from like one of those like Sheen or Timu or something like that because these type of shoes look like that would be from those. But look how unique these are. Like I love the style, I love the, like tribal colors and then like the green and like the lining like i like stuff like this i mean you can tell my shirt's kind of off the wall colors and like just like different 
but y'all, these are cute. Five dollars. And they look practically brand new, like maybe worn a time or two, like you can tell. Um, and before these people start harping on, I get not a whole lot, but like a couple of um, comments. You're a Christian and you like vampire books and TV and stuff like that. Y'all, let's be for real. Um, I know people are against that and I know there's demons out there and I'm like, I know all that, but I do like to read like vampire, like eclipse, twilight. I like watching scary movies and that's, that's my preference. Um, and people can say what they want, but I don't deny that I watch those things. And a lot of people and a lot of Christians watch those things. A lot of Christians watch scary movies and they watch like the love stories and this and that and the other. But to me, I don't get condemned about that. I don't see that there's a wrong in doing that. I could be wrong, but I don't have condemnation for that. Um, so no, I don't have, I don't think that it's wrong. But for people to come at me with that, what about you? Like, are you Christian? Do you watch? If you turn on your TV, you're gonna see crap. Like, that's just reality. But people that has the audacity to come at people that, I mean, come on, guys, there's no need in acting that way. Uh, but anyways, but to answer your question, no, I don't feel condemned in reading Twilight books or watching scary movies or documentaries on stuff. No, I don't. So anyways, that being said, I found this little Let's Shop um, Girlfriends collection. This was $2.99. This was out on display as I was walking into the Goodwill here. And of course, I had to get this. It says Let's Shop. It's got a little makeup thing here and it's got lips and it's got a shopping bag y'all i don't shop that much but i do like finding deals this was 2.99 this will be great for a cup of tea my naughty time tea so i picked it up and it came with a box obviously probably more than likely never been used and for 2.99 and then y'all i i don't even know how much how much did she charge me for this little butterfly And I don't see it, so I might have left a bag. Um, also got this. This was a dollar ninety-nine. No, she. This was ninety-nine cents. I just thought this looked different and unique. It's a candle, but I'm missing a couple of things, and I don't know where they're at. And then I got this. This is a friendship. It's got like there's a wonderful thing that gold cannot buy, a blessing that's rare and true, and that's the gift of a wonderful friend, like the friend I have in you. But I got this. It looks like it's cracked a little bit, but I got it for like the print this way. Like I can turn it like this way and like see this. That's just really pretty. But I'm missing my little, um, I'm missing something. And I don't know where it's at. I got a little teeny tiny butterfly and then like a freaking butterfly, like a platter butterfly type thing. And I don't even, it's not with me. So I think I've left it in the store. But anyways, that's part yeah, so one. I went back in there and it was still sitting on the countertop and this did not get ringed up. So let me show you what I got. So this little doodaddy was 50 cents and I had to get this. I have to wash it off, but it's a little butterfly. Like, this is darling. Like, I love it. So I got that. And then I got this. This was $3.99 and it says One Life, Lots of Possibility. And it looks like that. And it's by that company. I just seen that and I had to get that. It's cute. And then I got this plate that has butterflies on it. I love different, like, unmatching like things like this with like floral stuff like i know i'm weird but i love that and then i got this this looks really old but it was 2.99 but i thought it was cute it's a little butterfly it's never been used so 
I could even like put this on top where my cabinets are <coughs> for like display. That's what I'm gonna use it for. I love butterflies, so I grabbed that. And then I found all of these flameless tea lights for $3.99, and there's like all of these in here. Like there's tons. So when the electricity goes out or if I need them for something or just like, I like burning like little lights and like candles and stuff like when I'm like getting, like unwinding down at night. So this is gonna be perfect for that. So $3.99 for all of these bad boys. Hey y'all, we're going into the second one. Hey y'all, so I am back with my second part to my Goodwill haul. Just got finished with this other one here and Opal done that, y'all. So, anyways, so as I was checking out, I ran across these little doodaddies, and these are beautiful. So, it's an angel bell. Now, me and bells go way back, and I'm going to try not to get too emotional about this, but um, whenever I was married to the kid's daddy, Justin, um, we were staying there with her starting out and she came down with cancer and I took care of her. Like I took care of her for all the way up until she died. And so as I was checking out to get my stuff, I seen two of them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was a bell, but these were normally $18. But this one's have, this one has a tambourine and you can see the angel wings. But look at this. And anyways, Dolly was so sweet, lovable. She took me in like a grandchild. And um, she helped me make Katie's little closet whenever I was getting ready to have her. And we got everything arranged. And all the stuff that I got for my um, baby shower. And she made it all the way up until Katie was born. And she got to see her. And then... Um, shortly after that she passed away but when i seen these dolly and maddie maddie was justin's other grandma and me and her were like this like we were bffs like every time i'd be out the door would be going to shoney's would be going to walmart would go everywhere together mexican restaurant everywhere together and i'd come to her house all the time and maddie always called me an angel and the last time that i seen her when she was to herself before she went into her coma, um, I had asked her if she like remembered me and she took me by the hand and patted my hand and she said, yeah, my angel. And she called me by my name and um, I love angels. And when I seen these, it's funny how things can remind you of like people and stuff. So I got two of them and one's for Dolly and one's for um, Maddie. This one's playing like an instrument these were 2.99 and these this one was 2.99 but <clears throat> so dolly what short period of time that i knew her she took me in and she was so nice to me um and anyway she had this bell that whenever she needed me or justin she would do this like ring the bell and we would go to her and help her and these just reminded me of Dolly and Maddie, and so I got these. These were $2.99, and I will keep these forever. And I was just going to get one, and then when I realized they were bells, I was like, one's for Maddie and one's for Dolly. I know that sounds crazy to y'all, but to me it don't. And um, Dolly and Maddie were true angels to me. And um, Maddie, was, Maddie was with me longer than Dolly, and... Oh my goodness, this is rough. And Maddie became like my best friend at the time. Like I was a stay-at-home mom and she understood me and I, like I understood her and like she helped me so much and I will never ever forget Maddie's kindness and love that she brought to me. But those are for Maddie and Dolly. So I know, I didn't mean to get emotional, y'all. I apologize. 
Oh my heavens. I've got to go pick Justice up. We're going to eat here in a minute. And um, that was emotional. I got this for my tea. It's got cute little designs on it. This was um, half of 99 cents. And then I got this one. This one was 99 cents for tea. I just thought that was retro looking, y'all. So I picked that one up. I've got to stop buying teacups and coffee mugs, but I do love them. You know, it's all about what makes you happy, and you know, it's what makes me happy. I like getting little trinkets. And I got this. It was $1.99. I love the roses on this. And then I also got uh, Change Your Words, Change Your Life by Joyce Myers. Um, also got a New Moon, um, another one for Twilight. I got another book for that. And then I also got uh, Do It Afraid, Embracing Courage in the Face of Fear by Joyce Myers. I've never read these either. I, I, have, I have several of her books that I've read and some of her um, Battle of the Minds, Battlefield of the Minds that I have read in the journals and stuff. So I wanted to get that. Wee. My angels fell. But anyways, guys, I hope everyone's doing good. And I just got my cup in there. It's empty. Um, that was a little emotional conversation that got me deep. But anyways, hope everybody's doing good. Happy Saturday. I'm so glad to be off work today and off tomorrow. Um, until next time, y'all, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.